game is recording. Hi, and welcome. Hi. Hi. Uh, I am Mabel. And I'm Wisdom. And we're doing a practice for our uh, YouTube channel. Yeah. We have no idea what the fuck we're doing. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> this is our first time, but we and wanted... And this probably isn't even going to be uploaded. <laughs> nope, not ever. <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Um, but yeah, we're going to make a Let's Play channel called Lesby Gamers. That's the plan, at least. We might change it later. Yes. And we decided to start with something simple, like Pikmin. Yeah. And we're going to switch off. So I'll go ahead and start. I fucking love this game, by the way. <laughs> I played a little bit of this um, when I was a kid, but I never finished games when I was a kid. So I mainly watched my brother play this <laughs> and beat it. Honestly, this is the kind of game that I go back and beat like once a year. Oh my god. Mostly Pikmin 2, but Pikmin 1 I also go back and beat like every other year or so. That's how I feel with like Ace Attorney for the longest time. That was that was the game I would always like go back and play. Uh, Pikmin Style has been created. Okay. Uh, let's just do one. I kind of thought I already had a file on here, but I guess not. Maybe you did and you deleted it? Maybe. Oh, okay. Oh, cutscene. Cutscene. Dramatic space. Look at those beautiful stars. This fucking 2002 graphics. Yeah. I mean, it's not bad, actually, for what the game is. Was this game 2002? I, I don't actually remember. I don't, I, I don't keep track of dates. I'm really bad with time. I know Pikmin 2 is 2002, and I think they pretty much released at the same time. This might have been a year before, so maybe 2001? I don't know when the game came out. <laughs> Like I said, I have a bad uh, sense of time. Oh god, but I've like played this game probably once a year at least mm -hmm. since I was like four or five. Oh, four or five, dang. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I was playing like 64 games when I was like four or five. Oh, I was but... too. Actually, 64 is older than me. Yeah. Oh yeah, well, I think I was like born around 64. Didn't 64 come out in like 1997? I think. In America, it did, at least. Okay. Then I was, I was just one year young. I think it... I think, I want to say 1997. It might have been... I just know that Mario 64 is, like, older than me. Yeah. By, like, just barely. Oh. My name is Captain Olimar. While traveling through space, my ship was struck by a meteor. I must have blacked out, and I awoke on the surface to a weird planet. With so many parts lost, the skeletal hull of my beloved dolphin is a painful sight. The engine is gone. I'm stranded. Oh. To make matters worse, my atmospheric sensors indicate the planet's environment contains high levels of poisonous oxygen. Oh no. My life support system can function for only 30 days. If I can't repair the dolphin by then, no. Better not to think about it. I must find the missing ship parts. Alright. Man, yeah. Almer's kind of a shit captain. Yeah. He gets I, he, he like gets in a crash in like every game. I've seen that. I've <laughs> definitely seen. I've watched a few YouTube videos about each uh, game and yeah. Eat it. Eat it. All right. Yeah, fuck that flower up. <laughs> I'm gonna get stuff ready. Ow. I just stepped in like a sticker. What the fuck? Oh no. Where did that even come from? I'm in my house. Mm. Okay, what's this? It's a little... This, these are called onions, aren't they? Yes. Or he calls them onions. Yeah, he, he says they look like onions from his home planet. <laughs> And actually, the reason he calls them Pikmin is because they look like the Pik Pik brand carrots from his home planet. Oh, yeah, a strange thing has appeared before me. I had barely begun my search when it reared up as if it were waiting for me. It then dropped a single seed. What is it? Is it alive? Is it a machine? It resembles a vegetable on my home planet that we call an onion. I shall call this an onion, too. Which is kind of weird considering he's, like not from earth right and isn't in the second game there's a bunch of like earth things and he doesn't know the name of and they get called something else yeah there are in this game too like mm -hmm. you can see like bottles and bo there's a box in the background right now actually yeah. oh. the seed that the onion dropped took root in the soil and has now produced an adorable little sprout the sprout emits a strange light and it sways back and forth without benefit of wind i cannot help but think it is calling to me i am compelled i must approach it and press a <laughs> Yay! Our first little Pikmin. I love this dorky little song it plays. Yes, we should name him. Uh, 
Bob. Bob? Bob. We could reference another YouTuber and call him Steve. Oh, Steve from from what? Uh... I think I think that's what Chucker Conroy named his, his Pikmin or whatever. Oh, I don't know. I haven't seen that YouTuber. It's been forever since I watched Chucker Conroy, <laughs> so I don't know. Extraordinary. When I plucked the sprout, it turned out to be a living creature, not a plant. Picking it has done no visible damage. It just stands there, staring at me. Its shape is similar to the Pick Pick brand carrots I love so much. I believe I shall call it a Pikmin. Yes, yeah, see? Mm. I know, my lord. Yeah. <laughs> it's I like I said, I have not played this game in such a long time that I don't remember anything. Here I am, stranded on a toxic planet, fighting to survive, and yet I'm intrigued. I must research this fascinating creature. I shall try to grab it and throw it with the A, and I will call it to my side with the B. B. Mm, <laughs> perhaps it will create to uh, will react to C and X as well. The following controls appear to allow me to several viewpoints. Uh, okay. Zoom in, rotate camera, change angle. I must survive. I need to familiar myself, familiarize myself with these controls and my surroundings. Okay, game. <laughs> you fucking just grabbed him by the cheek. Yeah. Here we go. Aren't these like pellets? Aren't yes, they, called pellets? they are called pellet posies. <laughs> That's cute. Astonishing, the onion has shown more seeds. The small red pellet that Pikmin harvested after cutting down the flower appears to be some type of food that can propagate more Pikmin. The onion seems to be some sort of incubator. Needless to say, I must study this strange life form more. I actually learned something about Pikmin that I never knew. Hmm. If you let them stay in the ground, they're, uh, they'll go from leaves to bulbs to flowers, and I never knew that flowers made them stronger and faster. Yeah, it makes them faster. I don't think it makes them stronger. Um, should we lead them for a little bit, or should I we mean, just start picking them? The day doesn't move forward in this uh, probably just first level, them. so it'll probably be a while before they actually grow. Mm. And honestly, I don't do it because... It, um, I don't think they do it in Pikmin 2 or 3, but in Pikmin 1, if you let them grow to a flower and then let them sit there longer, they'll revert back to a, a leaf again. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. That's that's silly. Yeah, it's kind of obnoxious, though, because it means you have to like time it right. I don't actually know how long it takes. Hmm. Let me at least explore for a little bit. Oh, there's something up there. I don't know if I can get it, but let's go. If Look you uh... fucking ship. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how did you fucking live that? I... Well, I guess, you, because you, you ever hear that, like, bugs, they're so light that if you drop them, they can't actually die from falling? Oh, maybe. Yeah. I mean, he is really tiny. Yeah, he, he's basically a little bug, uh, buggy boy. That is true, a little bug boy. Also, if you want to see if they'll sprout, I can, um, <coughs> cough on my GameCube and, uh, make it go faster. No, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> my totally legit GameCube that we are playing on. Yes, this is totally legit GameCube. <laughs> Yes, GameCube. I mean, we do have the game, and like, uh... I, oh yeah, I got I've got this game on GameCube and uh, Wii. Yeah. This... I want to get the original on Wii as well, but uh... I only have Pikmin 2 on Wii. Yeah. I don't know how expensive it is. It might be a little expensive because it's like. All right, I'll uh, just pull them out for now. I know Pikmin 2 on GameCube is like a hundred bucks or something like that, yeah. but it's probably cheaper on Wii because it's a remake. Yeah, I definitely own this, and I'm sure eventually they'll probably. Like oh, I love how they turn like when they're when they're like all alone they start to like pale and they're just like I don't know what to do. <laughs> they oh, almost sad. look like they're like sick. Yeah, I'm like oh I'm scared. Go. Did you ever? You didn't play Pikmin three, did you? No, I that was Wii U only, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, no, I didn't have a Wii U. I'm kind of surprised they didn't port it to um Switch, but like they did with a bunch of other games. They probably will eventually. They'll probably do like a expansion, like how um. I don't know. Like they have the Insane and Spyro trilogies out, and granted, those are not Nintendo, but they could probably do that with Pikmin, like a definitive the uh, threes. Ooh, I would fucking love that. I feel like a lot of people would love that. Oh, I would love it if they did Pikmin two with like the controls of Pikmin three, because oh. like Pikmin three has a mechanic where you can like um like send the captains to locations on autopilot. Oh yeah. And it's like super convenient. Yes. Oh, you were supposed to pick that up. You were not supposed to. <laughs> All right, here you yeah, go. Yeah, they'll, they'll come back to you if you're near them when they finish. Day babies. I can't get too mad at them. Day babies. <laughs> Baby AF. Baby AF. <laughs> Just look how sad he looked. <laughs> he looks so lost. He's like, um, dad, help. <laughs> oh, I keep accidentally throwing them instead of picking them. If you, um, mash the A button, you'll automatically run to the nearest onion or sprout um, yeah. after you finish. 
Okay, let's just wait till these guys sprout up. You could, um, the box only needs ten. You could go put them on the box while you wait. Yeah, that's true, but they're about to sprout anyway. And there's no time limit, at least. Yeah. Do you want to, like, swap off in every day or something? Yeah, I was thinking that. Which, by the way, um, uh, when we get to me playing, I'm going to be, like, t practically trying to speedrun this game. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to be taking it very chill and slow. The differences between us as gamers. <laughs> well, I've also played this game a lot more than you. That's so. true. You probably know all the, like, secrets and spaces. And I'm, I do. I'm going to be, like, rediscovering this game. Heck yeah. That's why I wanted you to play first, because, like, since I know the game so well, it'll be nice for you to have, like, a chill day just to... Remember the controls? Yeah. The Pikmin are as curious as children. They form groups to perform tasks that would be impossible. 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 Impossible for an individual. A glimmer of hope has begun to shine in my heart. If Become. I can make. I'm gonna smack you. <laughs> <laughs> if I can make use of their skills, perhaps I can fix my ship. I shall sum up all I've learned of Pikmin conduct. Approach and press A to pick sprouts. Press A to grab Pikmin. Release to throw. Press B to call them X. Okay, I'm just. This is gonna take a little bit too <laughs> yeah, long. I, I like, think I'm good on reading this. Yeah, I shall record all this in my computer. All right, all right. All these little buttons. Man, um, that display would be useful if we were using that controller. I mean, what? Yeah, I mean, we're <laughs> totally using that controller. Is this the first thing we need to get? Yeah. As soon as you get this, the day ends. Oh, okay. But I think you require exactly every Pikmin that's available right now. Mm hmm So. Amazing. There's no mistaking it. My ship's engine rests before my very eyes. By a stroke of pure luck, I have already stumbled upon the most important piece of my damaged craft. Fate has spoiled upon me, but how will I get it back to the dolphin? I love how each one, there's a reason that they have to go back to the Pikmin area. If I can get... Oh, there's I a mean, way the to, second like... one's just because they want money. Yeah. Well, they're in debt, and then it becomes, oh, we're in money, and you have money. Let's give more <laughs> money. Can't you, like, move them with... Yep. Yep. <laughs> oh, he's so sad. <laughs> he's like, I wanted to carry that. Yes. Can I tell you something kind of funny and cute from my childhood? Uh, I don't see why not. Okay. When I was little, like, little, little, me and my brother, like, I really loved, um, monsters and games about monsters, and basically, I was a little there's brat. A, there's a pellet on that platform, I believe, if you, like, change your camera. Uh, the um L. That that works too. I think it's to the right. Yeah. Yeah, there right it there. is. And I think you need all of them. You were saying that? Um, I was saying that when I was a kid, I really liked games with monsters. Um, and for now, why don't you just here you go? Yeah, you carry that. Yeah. Well, I guess you don't need every Pikmin. Yep, yeah, but it's still good to get all the things while we're here. Yeah, I want to say there's 35 in the first stage. Mm -hmm. I might be thinking of Pikmin 2 where you need 35 for the box. Mm. I don't know. When many Pikmin seem sprout at once, I find it rather tedious to pluck them from the ground individually. My wife always told me I was no good at routine tasks. I guess I'll try to get it all done one by one by repeatedly until I pick all the Pikmin from the ground. I've noticed that when I add Pikmin to my group, they become filled with excitement and flush with bright color. At other times, they revert to a paler hue and give off a dim glow. Paying close attention to these differences is bound to help me distinguish between Pikmin. I don't know if you remember this from the second game, but, like, Olimar's wife is, like... Kind of a bitch. And a gold digger. Yeah. I do remember that. Wasn't there, like, a scene where she get really pissed? I can't remember if it's from the first game, but I could have sworn there was, like, once where, like, the kids were crying because their mom was, like, yelling at them because dad what? wasn't home. Maybe I imagined. Did I, I think imagine? I imagined that. I could have sworn there was literally but something... Was this not in the first game, or like you no, get messages? No, she doesn't show up in the first game at all. She, like Almar mentions her, but oh. it's the second game that you get messages from your family. Okay, I must have been that. I could have sworn like the kids were crying because in the first game you were taking too long, and it was like, I miss you, and mom won't stop screaming at us because you're not home. I must That's have like really fucked up, right? So <laughs> no, I just remember that like once you um pay off your debt, your wife messages you and is like, I'm so glad you paid off the debt. I went shopping. Oh with all of our money that we have. <laughs> also, I haven't seen you since you uh, got lost on the planet the first time, but you know what? Who gives a fuck? Because you're rich and I can go shopping. Yeah. <laughs> also, I think the daughter does that too. She just takes your credit card and goes shopping. That's kind of terrible that that's like what uh, what happens. <laughs> you make all this hard money and of course the women are the ones who have to spend it all, which is just like 
Of I mean, course. the guy characters in this aren't great either. I mean, true. Yeah, like, your boss is basically like, let's make us more money. Yeah, your boss is like, after you finish the debt and accidentally leave, spoilers, you accidentally leave Louie on the planet. Yes, I remember that. No, I've um, seen, I've watched videos of this. He's like, oh, Louie's missing. Let's go back to the planet to get money. Not Louie. We yeah. can find Louie while we're there, but we're there to get money. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we did it. Yeah, the ship isn't uh, completely broken anymore. We can at least fly in it now. Yeah. Also, did you see that pig been fucking stretching? No, I did not. <laughs> they just fucking get long. Oh, glorious. With the help of these Pikmin, I've taken a huge step back towards home. My ship can once again lift off. The glimmer of hope is beginning to burn more brightly. But what has become of the remaining parts? That search starts tomorrow. I do like the music in this game. I really like this I'll try not to sing it with the music too okay, much. It's okay. No. <laughs> it's cute. I like the... I remember liking the ending song. You ever feel bad when you accidentally leave a Pikmin? Um, like you forget that you've taken one and then you leave it and then you're like blasting off and the monsters come out and they just fucking eat your poor little guy and you're like, <gasps> I do, especially <laughs> because not gonna lie, I have done uh, zero Pikmin death playthroughs of these games really? before. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's so hard. One day since impact, I have somehow managed to launch the dolphin, but I was surprised to see the onion lift off with me. Perhaps the Pikmin cannot survive overnight on the planet's surface, or have they merely decided to join me for other reasons? Either way, it seems they will help me again tomorrow. Friends. Let me double check that the thing is recording audio still. Yep. Yeah, it's still recording. Okay, we're okay. all good. Yay! The dolphin is missing 29 parts. If I can't record them all, I may never return home to my family on planet Ho Hokuta? Uh, Hokutate. Hokutate. Uh, analysis shows life support systems will function for only 29 more days. How can I repair my dolphin in such a short time? A dense force is visible on the surface below. As it holds the key to my survival, I name it the Forest of Hope. I explore it tomorrow. Also, I want to I wanna preface, I don't know if it's actually, actually pronounced uh, Hokutate. Mm -hmm. I just hear people say that, so... Uh, if we do upload this, commenters, please yeah. don't fucking kill me. <laughs> yeah, I'm really bad at, I will sometimes read a thing and my brain will process that as the name and it is not actually the name and then people will remind me, did I? I keep forgetting that I am, I'm using a different controller, not exactly the, and so the A is uh, put somewhere else. 